as you climb up this ladder, you should be contributing more. We're going to end your tax breaks and your loopholes. My ultra millionaires tax. The billionaire class. The billionaire class. The billionaire class hates me. Going to tax all your assets, your diamonds and your yachts. A 70% marginal tax rate. The rich people. The 1%. 1%. 1%. 1%. Da. Democrats are on the warpath about the super rich not paying their fair share in taxes. So with tax day coming up, we asked the former chair of President Obama's Council of Economic Advisors to look at how to narrow the gap. Today, let's talk about taxing the rich. Think about the top 1% of people. The top 1%'s incomes since 1978, correcting for inflation, are up about 157%. If you look at the incomes of the bottom 90%, they're up 22%. So look, if you wanted to get mathematical about it, you could ask how much would taxes have had to go up to keep the relative income the same for the top 1% compared to the bottom 90%. And in fact, I can make that calculation if you give me a second. Carry the one, as it were. I got a uh, in an adding machine here that I can. I believe that the amount that the rich paid in taxes would have to have almost tripled for their relative incomes to stay the same as they were back in 1978. And the fact is, if you look at the actual tax rates paid by high-income people over the last 30 years, the rates have actually come down. Well, then let's just raise the top marginal tax rate and be done with it. The problem is, as you raise the marginal tax rate higher and higher, you do convince some people to stop doing the economic activity that they were doing. Economists call that the dead weight loss, and it goes up with the square of that tax rate. So if you double the rate, you make the damage four times greater, not two times greater. Okay, so then that might make you say, how do you get money from high-income people? One alternative is to explicitly go try to tax wealth. We have an estate tax. If you have an estate more than about $20 million, when you die, you are supposed to pay an estate tax on that uh, on that total wealth. Now, in reality, there are a lot of loopholes. What the economists would say is what you want to do is broaden the base rather than raise the rates. Tax more types of income rather than going after the same income at a higher rate. So that might mean limiting the deductions of rich people ending their exemptions. You could literally raise two or three trillion dollars over the 10-year budget window. In an era where the very rich are getting richer by the week, the tax code is absolutely intertwined with our idea about fairness and what is fair. And if we get that wrong, we threaten to go back to environments like ones we have had in the past in the United States, where there's massive social unrest and anger about divisions and about fairness and about who is the government looking out for in the end. There's really gonna be hell to pay. <laughs> 